Imagine this. You're floating in a warm, comforting space. Your world gently swaying as a rhythmic badum badum sound fills the air. Suddenly, bam! A loud, muffled noise ripples through your tiny universe. Was that a dog barking? A car horn? Or maybe your mom laughing at a funny video? Believe it or not, your baby isn't just surrounded by silence in the womb. In fact, they're hearing way more than you think. And what they hear is already shaping their brain, emotions, and even the way they'll recognize you after birth. But here's where it gets really mind-blowing. The sounds your baby is exposed to could actually influence their preferences, comfort levels, and even their language skills before they've taken their first breath. So what exactly is your baby listening to inside the womb? And how does it affect them? Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll never think about prenatal sound the same way again. How early can babies hear? Let's rewind to around week 18 of pregnancy. That's when your baby's ears start forming, but they don't actually hear anything just yet. Think of it like a new radio being built. It has all the parts, but it's not tuned in yet. By week 25, their little ears finally start picking up sounds. But here's the catch, it's not crystal clear. Imagine trying to listen to a conversation while submerged underwater. That's how everything sounds to your baby, muffled, low, and filled with vibrations. At this stage, the loudest and clearest sound in their world isn't traffic, music, or even your voice. It's something much more personal. Your baby's first favorite sound, your heartbeat. Before they even know what sound is, your baby is already familiar with one very important rhythm, yours. Your heartbeat becomes their built-in lullaby, a steady, calming rhythm they hear day and night. It's comforting, predictable, and it's a big reason why newborns love to be held against your chest after birth. That familiar badum badum reminds them of home, but that's not all they hear from you. Your body is basically a surround sound system for your baby. The whooshing of your blood, the gurgling of your stomach, the steady inhale and exhale of your breath, it all becomes part of their background noise. And then as their hearing sharpens, something even more special happens. Do babies recognize their parents' voices? Yes, and not just your voice, they actually prefer it over anyone else's. By the third trimester, your baby has heard your voice so many times that they recognize it instantly. That's because your voice travels through your body and reaches them more clearly than external sounds. Ever noticed how newborns calm down when their mother speaks? It's because they've already spent months listening to that voice. It's the most familiar, comforting sound in the world to them. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. Babies start learning language in the womb. That's right. Your baby isn't just hearing your voice, they're absorbing language before they're even born. In a mind-blowing study, researchers found that newborns cry in different accents depending on their mother's native language. Babies born to French-speaking moms had a different cry melody than babies born to English-speaking moms. What does this mean? Your baby is already tuning into the patterns and rhythms of language before birth. That's why talking, reading, and singing to your baby during pregnancy can actually help with early language development. Can babies recognize music in the womb? Yes, and this is where things get really fun. Studies show that babies remember songs they heard repeatedly while in the womb. In one experiment, researchers played a specific melody for unborn babies over several weeks. After birth, those babies recognized and reacted to that melody more than other random tunes. So if you want your baby to love a certain song, start playing it now. Whether it's classical music, a lullaby, or your favorite pop song, they'll likely remember it and feel comforted by it after birth. Do loud noises startle babies in the womb? Absolutely! By the third trimester, babies react to sudden loud sounds like barking dogs, fireworks, or even slamming doors. Some babies even jump or kick in response. But here's an interesting twist. Babies exposed to consistent loud noises in the womb, like those from a noisy city or frequent music, may be less sensitive to loud sounds after birth. Their brains adapt to filter out what's normal. How can you use this to bond with your baby? The coolest part of all this? Your baby isn't just passively hearing sounds, they're learning from them. So what can you do to strengthen that connection? A talk to your baby throughout the day. They'll recognize your voice and feel comforted by it. A sing to them. It doesn't matter if you think you're a terrible singer. Your baby loves your voice. Read out loud. 
Studies show that babies who hear stories in the womb may show a preference for those same stories after birth. A play music. Whether it's a soothing lullaby or your favorite playlist, your baby is listening. All these little things help build a bond before they're even born. It's amazing to think that before they take their first breath, babies are already listening, learning, and forming connections to the world around them. So what will you say, sing, or play for your little one today? If you found this as fascinating as I did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want more mind-blowing insights into your baby's development, subscribe for more videos just like this. And here's a fun question. What's the first song you'd love your baby to recognize after birth? Drop it in the comments, I'd love to hear.